Well, good day, church. My name is Alan Hahn, and today we're going to talk about 1 Samuel chapter 21. In this chapter, David is fleeing King Saul, who is trying to kill him out of jealousy. Saul believes, well, if I just kill David, then I get to keep my throne, which that's at least what Saul was thinking when he was chasing David. David had been serving Saul with loyalty, and no matter what David did, it was just never good enough for him. No matter how good David did, it was just never good enough for him. If Saul did acknowledge the good things, he acknowledged it for the moment and then went back to wanting to kill David. So David was right to flee Saul. Saul had the lawful authority to kill David, and if David did not flee and was not successful in fleeing, then Saul would have exercised his lawful authority. However, David did make compromises when he fled King Saul. When David was in Nob, he met with the priest Ahimelech, and rather than just be honest with the priest and tell him what was going on, David decided he's going to lie and say, well, I'm here on a private matter for the king. Now, we do have occasions where people have told lies for the greater good, as we like to think of it. If you think about your life, and I can think in my life, where we've done that, uh, we, we can see where David might have been coming from. When we look at Rahab, who told the lie about the spies in Jericho, we might think, well, God, you know, God doesn't, God doesn't have a problem with lying. Well, God doesn't say this is an example of how to live, because God has a lot more to say about telling the truth than he does about telling a lie, even under those circumstances. Uh, as a retired law enforcement officer, I can tell you I've had countless people in front of me who said, oh, no, 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 I didn't have anything to do with that, I didn't do it, and it turned out that they did. And those, those lies came with consequences. When Vince McMahon admitted what everybody knew, which was that professional wrestling is scripted, he was busted in a lie. And those lies, we can smile about those lies, but they do come with consequences. And when we lie, we're not really placing our trust in God, but in our ability to deal with the problem. We're, we're taking control away from God and taking, trying to take it for ourselves, at least in our own mind. David was trusting this in his deception. He was being selfish in doing so. His lie had consequences. His lie directly led to the death of 85 priests in the very next chapter of 1 Samuel. David placed Ahimelech at risk, and the priest had every right to know the risk he was under in those circumstances. You see, when we lie, there are consequences. We may those consequences may be toward other people. So when we're tempted to lie, it's a good idea to ask, how will this lie affect other people? How will this lie affect us? But most importantly, how is it going to affect our relationship with our Creator, the one who redeemed us, the one who created us, the one who has a plan for us, the one who has a good plan for us? You see, God rewards us when we trust in Him, and when we do things the way He says for us to do it. We can trust in Him when we're tempted to lie. We can live more at peace with ourselves and with Him when we live with integrity. That's our word for today. We hope the rest of your day is the best of your day. Thank you.